UNMIS, the United Nations mission in South Sudan, is here to support the new nation and the people of South Sudan. Our mandate has changed since the mission started in 2011, and our tasks depend on the situation and the needs of the people. It is the United Nations Security Council who determines and regularly reviews our mandate. Here are the four priorities we are currently working on to support the people of South Sudan. Protection of civilians means uh, provision of safety to people who feel their lives are threatened or are at risk. Just imagine if the UN did not open its gates to host these people, what could have happened to their lives? You know, you just do not want to imagine. It was not something that was, that the UN prepared for, but since we are peacekeepers, the UN is to keep this and to, you know, provide protection to people who feel their, their lives are at risk. There are a number of protection sites in UNMIS bases in the entire country. Over 100,000 people or internally displaced people have been protected in those sites. In terms of the security, we have the UN police we have the military who are always present and all this is to ensure safety and security of every person. The primary responsibility of protecting the citizens of South Sudan lies with the government of South Sudan. And where the government is seemingly unable to do so, the UN can step in. The ultimate goal of the protection sites is really to provide a very temporary safe place for the IDPs to be sheltered in. The long term plan is to have the people return to their homes, to go and have peace. On Ms. Human Rights Division's mandate falls under five major categories and they are as follows. Number one, monitoring, investigation, reporting, awareness creation and advocacy. When on Ms. Human Rights Officer encounter, for example, a violation of human rights, we do thorough investigation of the case and we do that in order to establish who the perpetrators are. And it is also worth mentioning that when we do our investigation, we make sure that they are not subjective and they are dependable. Meaning, we looked into so many cases, so many sources also, that can inform that given uh, case for objectivity purposes. And in everything that we do, we are governed by the principle of impartiality. One of ADMIS mandate is to support provision of humanitarian assistance. And what this means is that ADMIS provides security, provides logistics to enable the humanitarian partners distribute food, health services, provide clean water and sanitation to the people in the protection of civilian sites. IGAD is a number of East African countries which work together for the development of their countries and South Sudan is part of IGAD. In 2013, when the conflict started in South Sudan, IGAD came in to assist their brothers in South Sudan. And IGAD, when they start coming in, they call the brothers who have been fighting together to come in in Addis so that they can sit together and they can negotiate peace. ONMIS is assisting the IGA team to ensure that the two sides honor their ceasefire agreements. As ONMIS is the biggest organization in South Sudan, that's why it's helping IGA in logistics and transport. 
ONMIS cannot enforce peace in South Sudan. That's why it's helping IGAR and South Sudanese so that they can bring peace together.